Well, Donald Trump has used Twitter to great effect, stoking in many ways fear and division in the United States. But new social media platforms are emerging that seem to take it to a whole new level. Jackson Prosco takes a look at how conservatives are flocking to new sites like Parler, where many falsehoods and outright lies go unchallenged. Take a scroll through Donald Trump's Twitter feed and you'll see every false claim about election fraud flagged with a warning from the social media giant. We focus on addressing attempts to undermine civic integrity, providing informative context. What Twitter sees as fact-checking has led some to cry censorship. Who the hell elected you? The feud has given rise to alternative social media platforms, like Parler, co-founded by Republican mega-donor Rebecca Mercer. Protects your constitutional right to free speech. Promising no rules, no moderators, and no fact-checking, Parler has rocketed to the top of App Store charts in recent weeks, becoming a breeding ground for conspiracy theories, like false claims about pandemic concentration camps in Canada. Twitter has always been viewed by conservatives as an outside force that has too much control over what they do and what they say, which is ironic because it's actually been a platform that conservatives, including Donald Trump, have done really well on. Trump's election defeat has started a movement away from platforms and media outlets seen as insufficiently loyal. It's not just Twitter and Facebook. Fox News, once a reliable bastion, is under fire from right-wing conservatives for fact-checking the president's claims of election fraud. That our precious democracy was not tampered with. Obscure TV networks Newsmax and One America News have seen their ratings soar by promoting conspiracy theories that favor Trump. Experts warn these alternative platforms risk insulating their audience from reality, offering little space for competing views, potentially boosting extremism. This idea that There is no room for disagreement is a new phenomenon of the Trump era. There's also a limited audience for platforms that only cater to one narrow point of view. It took nearly a decade for them to get to this magnitude. And a niche platform um, isn't really going to be able to rival that. In a time of intense political polarization, that likely won't stop the push to build more spaces where people can simply play by their own rules. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.